With the state of lawlessness and criminality currently rampant in Jamaica and the number of cases in the courts, the demand for jurors is at an all-time high. However, many tend to shy away when summoned for duty for a myriad of reasons, inclusive of circumstances, lack of interest but most often out of fear as there are many stories of jurors being threatened, hurt or even worse. In this video, I will detail the selection process, eligibility, grounds for exemption, penalties, and the importance of serving. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! What is a jury? A jury consists of 12 ordinary citizens who are able to apply their common sense to the matter of determining the guilt or innocence of someone accused of an offence. The basis for a 12-person jury is that it is a representative cross-section of the local community and therefore are more likely to judge in line with generally accepted values of the society. Jurors represent diverse backgrounds and therefore individual prejudices are likely to be neutralised. What is jury service? Jury service is a critical element of the justice system in our country. Under the guidance of the judge in the trial, jurors listen to the evidence presented and the case put forward by both sides. They then deliberate in private as to whether they believe that the facts as they have heard them prove the guilt or innocence of the accused person. As citizens of their communities, jurors tend to understand the fine characteristics and habits of their society. Hence, jurors play an important role in ensuring that the case brought against an accused person is considered with fairness and objectivity and in light of the culture of our society. What offences are tried by a jury? All serious offences are tried by a circuit or Supreme Court judge sitting with a jury comprised of 12 persons in a murder or a treason trial and 7 for other criminal offences. Some offences tried by a jury include murder, manslaughter, rape and carnal abuse, robbery, arson and treason. A point of note though, offences except murder involving the use of a firearm are tried by a Supreme Court judge without a jury that is called a bench trial. Jurors may also sit in civil cases. However, in such cases, either the claimant or defendant must apply to the court and request that a jury be empaneled to determine the facts of the case. In such matters, the jury consists of seven citizens. Jurors also sit with the coroner or a resident magistrate to hear evidence on the circumstances surrounding the death of a person where it occurs in sudden, suspicious or unnatural circumstances. They then make a determination of how, when and where the person died. This is called a coroner's inquest. Who can serve on a jury? The Jury Act sets out which persons are qualified and eligible to serve on a jury. These include every person between the ages of 18 and 70, every person whose name is on the current voters list, and every person who has a taxpayer registration number. Who is disqualified or exempt from jury duty? The law disqualifies the following persons from serving as jurors. Persons under 18 years of age or over age 70. A person who is not a Commonwealth citizen. A person who is unable to speak, read or write English. A person awaiting a preliminary inquiry or trial in the resident magistrate's court or trial in the circuit court for an indictable offence that is a serious offence such as murder, shooting with intent and unlawful wounding. A person who has been sentenced to a term of imprisonment for a period in excess of six months. The Jury Act also exempts certain persons from acting as jurors because of their involvement in public life, such as politicians, some public officials and diplomats, by virtue of their participation in the justice system, such as judges and lawyers, or because they render essential services, such as medical doctors, nurses, soldiers, teachers and pilots. Under what circumstance can one be excused from jury service? A a person who is not exempt or disqualified from serving as a juror under the Jury Act may be excused from jury duty only if he or she is suffering from some illness. He or she can satisfy the court that attendance will cause undue financial loss or hardship to self or employer. He or she can show some other good reason that the judge or magistrate believes is sufficient to excuse him or her from jury duty. A person seeking to be excused from jury duty should declare his or her intentions at or before the time the jury list is finalized or at the time the jury is being empaneled. Penalty for non-attendance A person who has been duly summoned for jury duty and who does not appear or who appears but refuses to serve or who withdraws from jury duty without the permission of the court or without good 
good cause may be fined $2,000. A person who makes a false statement with the intention of evading jury duty or helping another person to evade jury duty commits an offense and may be liable on conviction to a fine of up to $4,000 or six months imprisonment. Jury duty is important to the proper functioning of our legal and justice systems. When called to fulfill our civic duty by serving as jurors, we must all do so responsibly. Through jury service, we are able to do our part to protect and defend the rights of all Jamaicans in a very direct way. Teach them! Hey, yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here, Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying, until next time, walk good, my friends.